started off this business uh, in 2011 together with my wife and supported by my elder brother. Our business is a commercial undertaking and we grow our birds from zero to 40 days um, depending on the need of the customers and we are contracted farmers to the largest abattoirs uh, in Uganda. We employ about 12 staff. Should you wish to venture into agribusiness in Uganda on a commercial scale, it is profitable. It is a big business. And secondly, that should you ever wish to have a friend that you would like to consult, we have a model that can help you uh, corporatize or t implement your own projects, even without returning uh, to live and work on the project in Uganda. The farm here is uh, 32 acres and it is a mixed farm. So part of the uh, land we use for grazing, part of it we use for crops. We focus on two sides. We focus on the social side as well as on the agriculture side. Our objective is mainly to merge the younger generation and the older generation, focusing both on, the, on agriculture as a, a source of income and a way of living. When we bring in the older people, the older people help to show the young ones skills they used to use and why. So we are trying to merge both, the, both generations and the skills, plus this, the skills I get or got from abroad and bring them into one pot here. I have a CVD. So many skills of farming, like ways of planting bananas, digging pits, putting in manure, mixing, mixing them so that we can get high grades. For people who are living abroad, I would encourage you to invest in agriculture. If you invest in Uganda, I think you would have made a very, very big difference to our country, to our, our people and uh, to yourself, because you come back to somewhere which has progressed in a direction you really would like to see it go to. My objective was to promote uh, farming as a business for farmers. So I really started by working with only 15 widows, and we saw that number growing up very quickly to 1,000 farmers, eventually to 11,000 farmers who were producing only chili in about 11 districts in eastern Uganda. I also wanted to move away from uh, working only on one crop, which was chili, and to integrate another crop, which is a long-term crop, and I chose cocoa with the aim, of course, of uh, getting as many farmers engaged in cocoa production as possible. Well, I started with uh, something like 2,000 plants of cocoa. I have 12 acres. Nine is coffee and three is cocoa. Now I'm harvesting on 100 cocoa trees. The price is good. We know in the future we are to be getting a very good price. I'm in a business of uh, research and development. Uh, we are into biotechnology. Uh, currently we are researching on uh, different products uh, adding value to agriculture. Uh, one of the products we're doing at the moment is hair. This hair is uh, made from uh, banana fiber. What we're doing at the moment, going around in the country, telling banana producers that we will buy the soda stem from you. We show them if they want to do the extraction from themselves, we show them how they do the extraction and then they sell us the fiber. So far we have about uh, 60 employees. Some are casual. Some are full time. I would thank uh, the people in the diaspora who have been involved in uh, investing back in uh, Uganda because we need to bring our money and our effort back to, to where we came from and also to create jobs for, for our people. Uh, secondly, I would uh, encourage them to invest in agribusiness because uh, that way we are producing food uh, and uh, we can add value.
I would like to thank Uganda Agribusiness Alliance and uh, Food and Agriculture Organization of the UN for availing the opportunity to me and us, the people from the diaspora, to be able to talk to people out there who want to know how to contribute to Uganda. We still have a chance to operate in Uganda and to invest in Uganda and to work with Ugandans to break certain cycles like poverty. There's a lot out there that is happening that is not being recorded. So this enables us to tell our story to Ugandans and to those in the diaspora, even beyond Ugandans, to share a story of endurance and, and, and lastly to, to share our little success story so far with the people in, in, in the local setup that uh, agribusiness is a business. Agribusiness done well commercially is profitable and um, can be a full-time job. I'm very, very glad that uh, they, they came across us and then uh, we won this award uh, and it's going to push us far because we've been sweating for so many years uh, putting this uh, product on the market. But at least there is a recognition and uh, uh, people are going to be aware of what we're doing and why we're doing it. Agriculture is uh, something that we have to take really seriously, but with the aim of doing it to the next level. Let us say, let us create you know, those small jobs, do your little garden, plant your cocoa, plant your herbs, plant your coffee, plant your whatever, but uh, the soil is there. We are blessed to have to have it, so that's my advice, my little contribution. This award was the first, but uh, we look forward to continue uh, to work with the Uganda Agribusiness Alliance uh, and with other partners to help identify where we do have opportunities to present to the Uganda diaspora as opportunities for them to come uh, and, and for them to look at the agriculture sector as one key important sector uh, that will definitely push Uganda to, to the middle income state.